eye bleach challenge. A TikTok. And they're just. I'm so done. I'm so done, bro. TikTok's most disturbing challenges. Shout out to boy Tuv. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get into it. Let's uh, let's check out. Uh, I guess he's re-uploading. Let's see what's going on. So why am I re-uploading this video? This video came out yesterday, but I got a lot of comments of people telling me they did not get in their notifications and they did not get in their sub box, nor recommended. That explains why the video was performing horribly or maybe maybe the video was just ass. I don't know. Yeah, I'm re-uploading it just in hopes that people actually do get the notification this time and it does pop up unrecommended. The watch time and click-through rate was amazing. That's why it was just weird. Speaking yeah. like algorithm terms. Anyways, you guys don't care. Please watch the whole thing because if you guys Dusty. already watched it, I know some of you don't want to watch it all the way again, but please just do it. All right, yeah. Yeah, let's continue with the video. Wah, wah, wah. Stay tuned for the wait. Wait, what? Stay tuned for the second one million special. Oh, okay. Wait. Damn, you be going through these shits go so fast. Okay. Everything in this video is a prime example of what not to do. Don't be dumb and attempt any of these. Stay safe and enjoy the video. This video is for education purposes only. Fits in with the YouTube's on station rules of shocking content as it shows lighter, moderately shocking content, which is okay. Internet challenges. We all know them. We all love them. Participated. And we all think they're extremely stupid. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look back at Read all faster? the internet's most Bruh, that dangerous was like a millisecond. And stupid challenges. We'll begin with the year 2010 and make our way up to 2022, aka the horrors of TikTok. A pattern you'll notice is that we as humans have progressively gotten worse, dumber. Is yeah. that a surprise? No. I'll let you answer that. If you can make it throughout know. this entire video without questioning Niggas do how anything stupid we've become, then I congratulate you. Because honestly, this video only gets worse from here. Internet challenges were at some point innocent. I mean, let's go back to 2010's planking era. 2010 oh, yeah. planking. planking. The origins of planking hey, are. I I ain't gonna lie. If I if I was still logged into my old Facebook, bro, I had some of the, I had some gas planking videos, bro. Uh, uh, not planking videos, planking pictures. I planked on top of a Dunkin' Donuts. I plank, yo, I was planking everywhere. I ain't gonna lie. I was, a hey, planking was that shit, bro. I planked on top of a Dunkin' Donuts. I think that was my peak. But I've, some of the planking that I've seen, bruh. Are a bit skewed as some sources say it began as early as 2008 and others say as late as 2011. Planking was a photo trend where people would lie flat like a piece of wood on everyday objects. Some people did it for fun to take funny pictures but quote plankers would attempt to one-up each other and do it in dangerous places. And actually in 2011 an Australian man by the name of Acton Beale who was only 20 years old at the time fell to his death from an apartment balcony where he was attempting to plank on a railing. There are no images of what? this but this is a real report. Though we don't know exactly who started this trend, it was popularized in March of 2011 when pro rugby player David Wolfman Williams planked after a try during the Sea Eagles versus Newcastle Knights game held on March 27th I don't even, of yeah, that I don't year. Where Though it came oddly from enough, either. former MTV host and comedian also uploaded a video that year titled, quote, Tom Green created planking, 1994, where he lies flat face down on the ground on a public sidewalk. Green said in a CNN article, I don't want to take anything away from anybody, but I do have video evidence, though that bit never aired on TV. It is a very obscure piece of video. So Tom Green did plank before it was cool, but he can't take credit because that video never released. I understand many of Yeah, it, the, the challenge wasn't bad. The planking challenge was not bad at all. It was just like laying down in stupid places. That's all it was. It wasn't like anybody was getting hurt. Well, I mean, the one person did get hurt, but like it wasn't affecting anyone around me or anything like, like it was just, just literally laying down. If you weren't alive in 2010 or 2011. <laughs> But in 2010, I was eight years old, and I do remember planking being extremely mainstream. I mean, here are some celebrities who planked. Flav of Flav, Chris Brown, prepubescent Justin Bieber, Dwight Howard, Joe Budden, Diplo, Big Sean, Nick Cannon, and even this guy with what seems to be pink hair. But he actually switched it up and did a reverse plank. And what's that sign he's holding? Oh shit! That's EarlDoesn'tExist.com. My amazing clothing brand. I'm taking this whole brand thing extremely serious. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear about it. But this is my video. Especially after visiting the Ransom Warehouse and meeting Cam Holler and Johnny Ransom. And we're on to 2012. 2012, the Cinnamon Challenge. Cinnamon Challenge, this challenge I did. consisted of the part. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. 
crushed the cinnamon challenge too. It, hey, listen, listen. I was, I was, I was, I was participating. Me and the gang. Oh damn. Me and the gang. It was me. It was me, Nico, Jalen, Taylor. Um, damn. Yo, Thai pods. No, never done that. But I've done. Me and we crushed the cinnamon challenge. You know. Damn, R.I.P. Taylor, man. That was my that was that was that was my sister in law for love for a, a long while. But damn, bro. But yeah, crush those challenges, bro. Participant filling their mouth with a spoonful of cinnamon and attempting to eat it in under mm -hmm. 60 seconds without drinking any liquids. The most popular video of this challenge was made by Glozel Green, and that video has nearly 60 million views. 60 million views. Not only was this challenge stupid, but it was harmful to your lungs. The cinnamon coats and dries the mouth and throat, resulting in coughing, gagging, vomiting, and inhalation of cinnamon, which can turn and lead to throat irritation, breathing difficulties, and risk of pneumonia, or even a collapsed lung. It'd be a challenge not to find videos like this all over the internet. Shit, a simple search on YouTube yields over 750,000. Everyone from celebs to politicians taking the cinnamon challenge. All you have to do is swallow one tablespoon of ground cinnamon in 60 seconds without fluids. And while it looks like a harmless yet foolish dare, this morning a new report says beware. Deja Reed, who was 16 at the time, attempted the cinnamon challenge four times, and on the fourth time, she felt like she was going to pass out due to not being... Now listen... I'm sorry, but there's just, bro, there's, it, nah, the common sense gotta kick in somewhere. Four times? The common sense gotta kick in somewhere. That's just like, bro, four times is insane. Why would you try the shit? Like, you failed the challenge. If you can't do it the first time, you failed the challenge. You tried it four times. The, the common sense has to kick in somewhere. Being able to breathe properly. She had to take an emergency trip to the ER, and ever since then, her life hasn't been the same as she requires an inhaler everywhere she goes. And it even resulted in a collapsed lung. And Bruh. she caught pneumonia. So she started her own campaign called the Say No to the Cinnamon Challenge campaign. I don't think that was the actual name, but that was like the whole thing about it. But I mean like, uh, good good for her i mean there's just something stupid about telling people to say no when you could have done it in the first place right. whatever she probably helped some kids so i'm not gonna bash her too hard four times is insane 2013, i'm sorry harlem shake oh. ah the good old days the trend started by now, none other than this one pissed me off the harlem shake challenge pissed me off because i'm like bro y'all said harlem shake but that's not the harlem shake y'all just y'all should have just said shake or something that pissed me like nah the Harlem Shake pissed a lot of New Yorkers off because that's not the fucking Harlem Shake. Y'all just took the name and ran with it. And Filthy Frank, aka Pink Guy, aka Joji, aka George Miller. The original Harlem Shake video was posted on February 2nd of 2013 and showed four young males in morph suits dry humping the air to Bowers Harlem Shake. When the beat dropped, they began acting ecstatic, and that's it. The video has since then garnered 65 million views, making this Joji's most viewed piece of media ever. <laughs> Everyone and their mom were doing this challenge. Compilation videos easily broke the 2013 YouTube algorithm with people just wanting to see how silly other people could get when the beat dropped. One thing to note is that in the original video, they wore the morph suits throughout the entirety of the video, but in the other versions that people would make, they would be wearing like normal clothing and then they would switch to something stupid to make it funny. I always thought that was interesting. I always thought that was interesting. I don't want to get copyright claims, so I'm going to show you guys my favorite Harlem Shake videos. And of course, I'm going to be using some royalty-free songs, so I won't get copyright claimed. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy these. Nah, nasty. I don't know where I should go. The song went on to go double platinum, but fun fact, though the Harlem Shake challenge began in 2013, the Harlem Shake dance began in 1981. The Harlem Shake is a jerky arm and shoulder movement just in time to the music. The dance was created by Harlem resident Albie in 1981. Yep. The dance was initially called the Albie. As indicated by the name, it is associated with neighborhood of Harlem in New York City. The dance became known as the Harlem Shake as its prominence grew beyond the neighborhood. Man, I remember the days when you could look up yeah, Harlem, so, like, Shake the Harlem Shake on the app Shake? store. I used to do it on my iPod Bro, all the, the time. Bro, the Harlem Shake that they was doing was not the Harlem Shake that was created, and that's what the problem was. That's where the, the difference lied, and that's why you see that they, 
If you look on dude's shirt, hold on. If you look on his shirt right here, hold on, let me move, let me, let me minimize. It literally says the original because like they literally took the Harlem Shake and ran with it and did something that wasn't the dance. You see what I'm saying? They did something that it wasn't and they literally niggas from New York had to show you how to Harlem Shake because that wasn't what you was like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, nigga, I, hey, I can understand everybody just wanted to do the dance, but you got to understand when you get something from somewhere and you take the name of something and you don't do it correctly. It got it, like that was literally one of the first that was like uh, that was appropriation first glance and viral and it just it didn't sit right. You know what I mean? In 81, the dance was initially called the Albi. As indicated by the name, it is or any type of. 2013. Cool. When I switch years, I'm gonna say at the beginning. So, Gallants, you guys oh. remember that? Like the slow neighborhood oh. of Harlem in New York City. The dance became known as the Harlem Shake as its prominence grew beyond the neighborhood. Man, I remember the days when you could look up Harlem Shake on the App Store. I used to do it on my iPod all the time. There would be different apps, and one of them would be like with slow mo ending. Do you guys remember that? Like the slow mo ending? Oh my god, dude. Sometimes I want to go back to 2013. I'm getting carried away. You know what I do want to say? 2016 was such a good year. Everyone says it, but it was so true, bro. That was my freshman year of high school. All right, let's head over to the next one. Gallon smashing. Okay, so we're still in the year 2013. When I switch years, I'm going to say at the beginning. So gallon smashing was the act of smashing milk or any type of gallon against the ground and pretending like you accidentally fell and then getting a quote funny reaction from random bystanders that were obviously shocked and would try their best to help. In some cases, milk exploded onto random bystanders clothes. The original creators of this prank slash trend were three yeah, teenagers, nah, owners of the Chasey channel, 40 million views and three minutes of gallon. I this, this, this yeah this shit would have pissed me off especially if I knew you were faking it you know what I mean but nah, this 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 right here I I couldn't get jiggy with smashing of course this only encouraged other people to do the challenge as well challenges are supposed to be difficult but you're just being an asshole in this anyway their channel consists of pranks that don't even end up being pranks just douchey material which I hope to God is fake and their channel's dead they don't even upload anymore but the teens were actually charged with disorderly conduct and destruction of property good. Good. <laughs> Good. 2014 Ice Bucket Challenge. All right, this one isn't bad nor stupid, so we're going to go through this one really quick. First, let's talk about what ALS is. Lou Gehrig's disease, otherwise oh, yeah. known as ALS, yeah, I remember is the a ice nervous system challenge. disease that weakens muscles bad. and impacts physical function. The Ice Bucket Challenge was supposed to simulate how it feels to have ALS for a few seconds and ultimately was made to raise awareness and increase donations given to ALS research organizations. According to the ALS Association, the challenge generated $115 million, which is honestly amazing till this day. Oh, and nice. we also got a funny LeBron meme out of it. <laughs> the fire challenge. The literal challenge where teenagers would cover their body in rubbing alcohol, light themselves on fire, and then jump in the shower or a pool, you know, before you start burning alive. I, I, you know what? I think I saw some of that. That shit is stupid. Like, like I get it. You know, some kids experiment, you know. I've seen someone light their hand on fire with the, the perfume or whatever. Um, but like, it's just, your whole body is insane. I've seen it happen. And I would never do it because that's fucking stupid, but you're, you're, you're bugging. Like, you're bugging. Dare that could end up in your child's social media feed. Young people setting themselves on fire and they're taking videos of what happens next. Our Johnny Ann Thompson joins us live now and has been watching this trend and I'm wondering, has anybody been seriously hurt by this, Johnny Ann? Well, Krista, one person has already died. That happened in New York State. We checked with our local hospitals and so far, no one has been treated locally, but it is spreading. Some of the videos posted to social media are as recent as just a few hours ago. I'll let wow. you guys know, I'm gonna be speechless for some of these. Some of these have no context, it just happened. Like, there, there wasn't, like, a creator that was like, I will now begin the fire challenge. No. Some of these just happen. Yeah, I, I honestly couldn't find an origin to this. It's just dumbasses being dumbasses. The salt and ice challenge. The salt and ice challenge is an internet oh, challenge I, where I participants pour salt on their bodies, usually on the arm, and ice burns. is then placed on the salt. This causes a burning sensation similar to frostbite, and participants attempt to withstand the pain for the longest time. The mixture of the ice and salt creates a mixture which can get as cold as a negative 18 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Fahrenheit. I, the salt I and ice challenge can about, quickly cause second. Like I like I ain't gonna lie, I was a bitch about it. I did that shit for maybe 10 seconds. It was like, yeah, nah, not doing this. Like I was, I was hesitant the whole time, and then once the ice really touched me, I was like, "Yeah, no, I'm not doing this." I'm not doing Third this. degree injuries due to the numbing sensation of the cold and possible it, nerve damage during the stunt. Like participants fuck. are often unaware of the extent of any injury sustained during the challenge, only feeling the pain 
after the fact. Okay, okay, yep. y'all don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I tried this one. Bruh. I remember, bro. Wait, it's 2014. I was 12. I tried it. I didn't feel anything. I know I put a warning at the beginning of the video, but don't try this stupid yeah, shit. Everything don't try I'm it. listing is a list of what not to fucking do. Exactly. Don't do this dumb shit. I'm not encouraging anyone that's watching this. Like, this is like a big ass advertisement to not do this shit. But yeah, Gosh. I remember I tried it, bruh. I didn't feel anything. It didn't even make a mark on me. I think I was too pussy to let it like sit there. I just took it off. I was scared a little bit. 2015, Charlie Charlie Challenge. No, Never not that this. Charlie. Instead, people were at I was, I'm sorry. I'm not talking to nobody's fucking ghost. You got me fucked up. Asking yes or no questions to a ghost. Have I done the song yeah. nice Charlie one? Charlie yeah. is a paranormal divination game where the player stacks two pencils on a piece of paper with yes or no blocks. Mm -hmm. Then you ask the quote ghost I questions never. to get answers. The game is a modern incarnation of an older Spanish game called Juego de la Lapicera, aka the pencil game. It was popularized in the English speaking world in 2015, partly through the hashtag hashtag Charlie Charlie challenge. This is one that you're obviously not gonna get hurt from trying this. So I actually tried it for you guys. So let's go watch that clip. As you guys can see, we have four answers right here. We have yes, no, yes, poop. No, the difficult <laughs> thing is fucking balancing these pencils, dude. I've been trying. Charlie Charlie, are you with us? Bruh. All right, let me, <laughs> let me use the actual spiritual name. Critical, critical, are you here? Bruh. No, nothing. No, nothing. This is fake. I don't know why in middle school this took over like 2015 my friends and I, I remember dude the internet was literally making us do paranormal shit in the middle of class that was yep. crazy charlie charlie are you here oh my god ah! oh my god it's on poop it's on poop guys whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. oh that was my breath bro see that shit scares no, me no, anyway no. let's let's move on <laughs> Kylie Jenner lip challenge. A challenge where teens would suck on a Ew. cup or shot glass in order to simulate having thick lips like Kylie Jenner. The challenge would make their lips swell up and bruise them, sometimes even popping blood vessels. The results were honestly disgusting and you could see saliva ew. strings like, ew? Bruising could last up to a week and Kylie herself told sources that her lips are all natural and she hasn't had plastic surgery. That statement and Kylie herself told sources that her lips are all natural and she hasn't had plastic surgery. Girl. Girl. Hashtag this nigga lying, your honor. Lying like shit. <laughs> lying that little girl. That girl lying. <laughs> Not you lying. Lying is crazy. I can never. That statement itself was way funnier than the challenge. <laughs> 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 let's move on. Let's move on. 2016 banana and Sprite challenge. Banana Even though I said Sprite. this was a good year, I'm talking about like my life and music wise. This is the year that TikTok became TikTok. If you guys don't know, TikTok used to be Musical.ly. Musical it was yeah. bought out by a company and became TikTok. So from this era moving forward, these challenges were very popular on YouTube and TikTok. Anyway. Let's continue talking about the banana and Sprite challenge. I don't know what, I don't know what challenge this is. Everyone to make yourself vomit on purpose. Yeah, me neither. According to challengestodo.com, the steps include eat two bananas, drink a can of Sprite, the banana should be eaten quickly, followed by a can or bottle of Sprite. The last person to vomit wins the challenge. But why? Why does this mixture cause you to throw up? Allow me Ew. to read this quote by Kieran Kelly. The banana supplies the protein and the cold soft drink adds a lot of carbon dioxide to your stomach. Your stomach is quite warm, much warmer than the soda, which means the carbon dioxide becomes less soluble at the higher temperature and gas bubbles are making a very fast escape from the liquid. The banana protein coats the CO2 bubbles and makes a very stable and expanding foam in your stomach. The creation of the foam means you can't just burp to get rid of the CO2 in your stomach, but it has to get out somehow Ew. because your stomach is only so large. So an escape is made using its only available exit, the mouth. 2017. Nah. The Eraser Challenge. Eraser this can date challenge? as far back as 2014, but most articles I read. Nah, some of these, ah, uh, some of these. Some of these, I don't remember, y'all. It said 2017. So basically, this is where kids would take a classic rubber eraser and uh, rub it against their skin pretty hard. Not like just a slight rub, like hard rubs while reciting the alphabet just to see how long they could last. This challenge caused burns and skin infections due to kids sharing the same erasers. Oh, but yeah, no. I don't understand how 
challenges most of the time involve see okay so like a lot of these challenges i've never done since I, i've been out of school you know what i'm saying send me the whole head and I, i'll take i'll take accountability for that i've been out of school since 2014 these challenges are are in, put sanitizer on it that's what niggas used to do oh my god oh my god you know what i'm glad i graduated when i did because fuck what the fuck of you just hurting yourself why why would you voluntarily do that i just i just don't understand uh, 2018 yeah, tide, tide pod. pod challenge one of, of the course. dumbest challenges on here is definitely the tide pod challenge youtube actually removes vi these videos or at least age restricts them so i'm not going to be showing clips of that i really don't need to explain why this was dangerous and stupid Niggas in the first place i mean swallowing like laundry detergent is extremely toxic the american association of poison control centers reports that as far back as 2012 poison centers received over 6,000 calls about laundry packet exposures in children That's five crazy. years and under in 2017 though over 10 thousand children and 200 teenagers reported exposure that year so far there were at least 37 reported severe exposures among teenagers half of them intentional that is insane the snorting condom challenge what? so this one involved people snorting condoms through their nasal cavity Yo, and nah. spitting it back no no uh. Like, why? Like, dead ass. Just dead ass. Why? A genuine dead ass. Back out their mouth and, like, pulling it like that. And then it just comes out their mouth. I told you this video is going to get really, really, uh, it's like, I don't even know how you're still Disgusting. watching this. I don't know how. But yeah, because suffocation isn't a thing. Some of these challenges weren't as popular as the others. Not like you would see kids, you know, walking down the hallway at your school snorting that condoms. At least disgusting. not in my school. <laughs> I don't know about yours. And most of these challenges take place in the U.S. Like, I get it. We're Americans that can be <laughs> dumb, you know, most of the time. Can but where be, are all the are. UK and Canada, like, dumbass trends? Do y'all not have any? Y'all just watch us Americans from the sidelines? Like, it has to be really, yeah, like, we're, entertaining. We're it has to be stupid. really entertaining at some point. You're just like, oh, fuck, these Americans are just, they're snorting condoms now. 2019, boiling water challenge. Taking a boiling... Oh, oh my God, I've seen this. People taking boiling water and throwing it on someone. Are you fucking insane? It's boiling for a reason. It's at a certain temperature. It can cause fucking burns like what pot of water and throwing it in the air during freezing temperatures and looking oh oh okay okay oh okay okay that's different but still i thought because no i've seen a couple of cases where people were throwing boiling water on people that were sleeping like unsuspected people i've seen that happen like a couple of times that it's dumb as shit now um throwing it in the air i know that but like this this is crazy looking at the boiling water turn into steam that was the challenge though so sometimes it would land back on people and give them extremely severe burns the crazy. boiling water challenge and today we've learned it left eight people with significant burns yeah, it sure did the challenge tasked people with throwing extremely hot water into the air you've Ooh. seen it a lot lately outside during freezing temperatures sub freezing no, no, temperatures hot like last week's polar vortex, just to see that it turn into a hot. cloud of steam. But doctors at Loyola Medicine's burn center say bad aim and bad throws sent that scalding hot water onto people instead of into the air. Look, S multiple people in the last week, uh, including one that got admitted to the hospital for the burns. Um, the youngest was three years old. We, we were just talking. We said we've seen eight patients, and we're really surprised at how many people were were trying the challenge and unfortunately failing. I bleach challenge. A TikTok. They're just. I'm so done. I'm so done, bro. 
TikTok blew up, encouraging users to grab jelly, hand sanitizer, bleach, and shaving cream. Then to put it in a plastic Ziploc bag and hold that bag against their eye for at least a minute and apparently their eye would change color because it would get lighter. The TikTok was by user Greg Lammers and claimed that this will change the color of a single eye, though that's not true? This dude's a video editor and just edited the video to make it seem like the challenge worked. He literally made a video that people will come across and believe is true. Of course people are gonna attempt it. He never directly said, hey everyone else try it. No, but it's like dude, what did you expect? People are gonna try this. Placing bleach under your eye even though it's through a ziplock bag can lead to skin and eye damage as well as vision loss Fucking if the bag ruptures. Jackass, but he man. claims he did it because he wanted to show kids the dangers of internet challenges. Let's be honest, that was no, his escape you did it. And dude just wanted clout. He hasn't posted since 2019, and his most recent post has comments begging for his return. He seems like a pretty normal guy, judging by his Instagram post, but it doesn't seem like he's coming back to TikTok anytime soon. Yeah, I feel done. like you have to be charged with something at that point. You're like, done. you made a fake video that influences people to attempt something that will potentially injure them. I feel like he, like he just got away scot-free with that. Like, what the fuck right. was that? Anyway, I'm glad he's not coming back to social media. 2020 coronavirus challenge people i'm done i don't even want to hold the mic no more i'm just, i you're fucking dumb like you're dumb like you're dumb you look at me you're dumb you're fucking dumb why like why what the fuck man people are literally this dumb like this is insane Check your posture. No, I'm chilling. People licking toilet seats and other very <laughs> people licking toilet seats and other various public objects this in order to contract COVID-19. This started as a way to let people know like, hey, we're young people. COVID only affects old people. Look what we can do. This was not popular to do at all, though. The videos were popular, but it wasn't like this was a pop and trend. There were only two notable users who did this challenge, a boy named Lars and a girl named Ava Louise. Lars <laughs> actually ended up contracting COVID and was admitted into hospital. <laughs> Didn't yeah. he go and on Ava's Dr. case Phil? is a little bit different. Ava is an influencer who is known for being pretty, but not, I don't know how to say it without smart. being rude, but not, not smart. I hope it's a character that she plays to get clout. Anyway, she uploaded a TikTok of her licking a toilet seat with the caption coronavirus challenge, and it quickly went viral. Well, before TikTok took it down, she told Insider, I don't like my grandparents and I don't have a relationship with them, so I don't give a shit what happens to them. Very impressionable older people who don't understand meme culture or trolling latched onto this. Yeah, I don't really want to talk shit about Ava Louise because a lot of my mutuals follow her, so I don't know if this is a character. I really hope this is a character, Ava. There's oh a chance God. you're watching this, but I really hope that was a character. And, uh, yeah, uh, let's, let, let's move on. Skull breaker challenge. A trend that what? involved three people, one of which being the victim in the prank. Three people would be lined up. Oh. The person in the middle is told to jump and the- I remember this. I remember this. This was a bad, this was bad. This was bad. I remember this now. I'm like, huh? But yeah, I remember this. That, you're bugging. Like, niggas, oh my God, yo. People are so dumb, bro. That was go. I I don't know. I didn't know what it was called, but I remember seeing this where people would jump and niggas would kick their legs from under them and they wouldn't be able to land. Like the other two sweep their, their legs forward, causing them to fall back hard. Hence the name Skullbreaker Challenge. In New Jersey, actually two minors were charged with third degree aggravated assault due to doing this to their classmate and causing him to convulse and have a seizure on the ground. The Crazy. kids were around 13 years old each. Yeah, man, like stupid challenges involving yourself, dumb, but like, okay. But like when you're literally harming other people, what? We need to realize that just because something is being filmed doesn't mean you're not committing a crime. People right. love recording themselves committing crimes and uploading it. I don't understand. I never understood that topic. Why would you do that? Filing teeth trend. People on TikTok began filing. I'm so done. I'm so, I, I'm checked out. I'm checked out. I'm checked out. I'm checked out. This literal stupidity is like, is so damning. I'm so checked out. I'm checked out. They're unperfect teeth to make them perfect. I'm gonna file my teeth down with a nail file because they're not perfect. I have some ridges and we're balling on a budget. Trigger warning. <laughs> Guys, it's literally working. Wait, let me give myself some vampire teeth now. All right, guys. This is the final process. 
product. It's she don't even. It's not perfect, but it is significantly better. This one actually had a good level of popularity attached to it. Though it worked, these people quickly found out that they shaved off a protective layer on their teeth, causing them to have hypersensitive teeth. And this lasted, Jackass. you guessed, forever. forever. Good luck For eating life. ice cream. The only thing to do after this, if you want to get rid of that, is getting veneers. Yeah, fake teeth. Okay, okay, guys, guys, we're, we're going to question a lot why this is just crazy. why we still I have a handful so left let's move on to 2021 full face hot wax challenge that is insane why the oh my god bro So tapped out, bro. Hell nah, buddy. Looks like he was forced fight, to give that reaction. For his all right, so life, one, bro. suffocation. Two, pouring wax all over your face means you're gonna end up ripping off eyebrows and eyelashes. And three, dermatologists say this is one of the dumbest things you can do, as there are parts of our face that aren't meant to be covered in hot wax that's gonna be ripped off, such as under our eyes, which have sensitive blood vessels, which is why those smaller ones exist. Also, waxing the inside of your ears is extremely dangerous, as that could lead to damage of the eardrums and internal bleeding. I'm so over this. Devious lick. Ah, the de The devious lick challenge. Niggas was dead ass getting striked for that. Niggas was getting striked, bro. I remember one of the memes from Dante challenge uh videos got striked for the devious lick. I think somebody got striked for reacting to that shit. Bro, niggas was bugging. Niggas are taking school. They was taking everything. Maybe a slick. Kids stealing things from their schools and recording themselves doing it. We've spoken about this on the channel before, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but it was extremely viral and extremely unfunny. Kids would steal anything from their schools to get TikTok views and likes. And some kids even took it too far and they would destroy bathrooms. Like that wasn't even part of the trend. What the hell? Benadryl challenge. Again, we've spoken about this one on the channel, oh but it was kids God. abusing Benadryl, which is an over-the-counter drug, and they would abuse it to feel the high, and they would record themselves and post it on TikTok. A handful of them were actually sent to the hospital, what and the I'll give fuck? credit to TikTok, because I know damn well they don't support any of these challenges that go on, and they always try their best to take down videos that involve dumb acts like these, and uh, certain hashtags, but TikTok's banning system is a little bit, uh, just stupid. I don't want to compare it to Twitch's banning system, because I feel like they're both equally banned horrible <laughs> that's just me being a youtube fanboy by the way guys i stream on my second channel i haven't streamed in a while but i'm gonna i'm gonna come back because i got a new pc that channel is like at 75,000 subscribers i want to get another 100k plaque so if you guys could subscribe to that that would be amazing shout out youtube that's the best platform of all time if you guys want to be an influencer please come over to youtube it's the best it's the fucking best platform i know i'm a youtube fanboy i've always wanted to be a youtuber all my life thank you guys for uh dude i swear i have so much fun making videos like this is i'm getting so carried away bro let's fucking move on the crate challenge stacking milk crate Jesus. Niggas was making bread off these crate challenges, bro. Everybody had a crate challenge video. Crates into the shape of a podium and seeing who can make it to the other side, though many failed. I heard about YouTube removing this video, so I'm not going to be showing any footage, but I'm sure you all remember this one. It was funny because people would fail it a lot, but falling during the challenge led to a variety of injuries, uh, including, injuries, but not yeah. limited to, dislocated shoulders, ACL tears, broken wrists, and even spinal cord injuries. Imagine being in the hospital bed and just ban me for hip shaking. They banned you for hip shaking? That's why they banned you? That's crazy. Just thinking, wow, I broke my spine because I tried the fucking crate challenge in 2021. 2022, the subscribe to Tuv challenge. Now, this is one of the most Bruh. difficult challenges on this list. I'd be surprised and beautiful that youtube nah, just stops nasty. and it tries to gatekeep him you literally just can't click subscribe i don't know if you can click subscribe right now and it lets you like stop bro nasty like, stay subscribed make sure to keep it nasty it's uh rare. mind games yes it's not like a million other people have done it <laughs> just flash a random image of me on the screen why because this is my channel i've always wanted a big <laughs> youtuber to do something like this literally just randomly in the video here you go you have to look at this now all right Not back nasty. to the outro but yeah that's it for this video i actually was a guest on a podcast called the cuff boys podcast so i'll leave that down in the link in the description if you guys want to watch that I made my i made my account didn't give a fuck about it then when i was in middle school that was when the whole leafy idubs h3h3 commentary shit was going on and I was like, I gotta get, I gotta get in on this. They didn't want to show my face, so I would use a.
floating image of Daffy Duck. Make sure to subscribe to my second channel and make sure to buy something from the Earl brand as everything on there is going to be rare in the future. We're going to literally everything on there gone. Poof. Uh, yeah, but we're working on a lot new a lot of new designs for the summer drop and uh, make sure to stay tuned w for vid. the next video. I think the next video is going to be the the second 1 million special. It'll be it'll W vid, W vid. Nah, um, good vid, good vid, good vid. Uh, my consensus from the whole thing, niggas is dumb. You know what I'm saying? And niggas is impressionable and niggas will do what the internet tells them to do. You know what I'm saying? But nah, W vid, man. I'm so tapped out though. I'm so tapped out. It's crazy. <laughs>